guys, it's Brooks, and someone asked me to do a tutorial on this, so I'm going to do it right now, and it's on iMovie, so the first thing you need to do is open iMovie, which I'm going to do right now, and yeah, so then you need to make a project, I have one open right here, and then um, after you get your project open, then you select two clips, I'm just going to do this one, or I'm, I'm just going to do two random ones, I'm just going to do this one, and then you select two seconds, or 0 0.2 seconds of the clip, and press E, and it will go to your project, and then do it in another part, and press E, and it will go to your project, and then... Uh, you want to divide them in half, like that, and then press delete, so they're point 0.1 seconds, and then you want to do it to the same, press delete, so it's point 0.1 seconds on that one too. And right now it should look like this. And then you, if you want it to be like super cool and flashy, um, then you should add a color to it, and I'm going to make this one yellow. I'm going to make this one pink, and then there, it should look like this. Then you're going to select the first clip and do on your keyboard Command C, and then um, go move your mouse to the end of it, and do Command V and press it five times, so go Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V. Command v. And then select the other clip, do Command C, and then go in front of that clip and do Command V. Go in front of that one, do Command V. Go in front of that one, do Command V. Go in front of this one, do Command V. Go in front of that one, do Command V. Then it should look like this. Um, then you have to click Share, Republish to iTunes. Um, just do a mobile size, or medium, or large. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. It usually should let you do mobile, medium, or large. I suggest medium. And then click publish. And this will take, like, a minute. And then it will open right, up your we'll iTunes, which it's doing to me right now. And it will come up right here. And then after you get it there, you have to drag it from your iTunes to your desktop like this. Um hold on. Like this. And then it should go to your desktop and it will say copying to desktop. And I copied it to the desktop. And then you're done with iTunes for the minute. And then you can quit out of iTunes and then you drag it from the desktop into an event. So I'm gonna do and then it will it should copy the file into the event. And then you can take this clip and delete it in the trash. Um, but then it will pop up right here. And then what you need to do is click one of the clips and click edit, select all, and press your delete button and hit OK. Because it will say, since you already published it to iTunes, do you, are you sure you want to do more editing? And you just click OK. And then you select the whole clip right here and click E. Then click on this little gear thing and do clip adjustments. Then do look at speed, it will say right here, and then do convert entire clip. And the clip will convert, it will take two seconds. And then you, it depends how flash you want it, but usually you should make it as like high as it can go. And so then it should probably look like this, or, hold on, not as high as it should go. You should take it to the second one, just one more above. It should look like this. And then when you replay it over and over again, it will look flashier. But sometimes you make it a little bit faster. It's different. It varies with other clips. So just mess around with the fastness you want. And then see how it's flashy and then do command 
Z command V a couple more times to get a lot of flashiness. And then there's your flashiness. If you want to mute the clip since it makes an annoying popping sound, you have to do edit select all and then click on the gear again and click audio adjustments and then put, click volume and put it down to 0% and then you're done with that. And then um, if you want to add some music instead of the popping sound, I'm going to add a Nicki Minaj song because I love her. And let's just do... Fly. Let's just go... Moment for life. Okay, so now we'll look like this. And you'll need to add more as it goes, or you can even make it faster. And that's what it should look like when you're done. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope that helped you. It works better with pictures, not moving things like these fireworks. But, um, yeah, I hope this helped you, and thanks for watching. Bye!